Greetings, everybody. Making this video to address a question that came in this morning about how to add and subtract matrices. What we're looking at here, though, is just a screenshot from my math lab. Um, I'm not going to enter my answer into my math lab or anything like that, but I'll just use this as the basis to give you my explanation for how to solve this. So uh, let's look at part A. Um, part A says, what is matrix A plus matrix B? And here's what matrix A and B are. Okay, and matrix is an array of numbers. It has columns and rows. For example, matrix A has two columns. Columns go up and down and three rows. Rows go left and right. Okay, and matrix B I notice is the same size. It also has two columns and three rows. I can add or subtract matrices as long as they're the same size. And that means that they have the same number of columns and the same number of rows. Do you see how in this screenshot there's option A where you can type in whatever matrix A plus B is and then there's option B where it says this matrix operation is not possible. It would not be possible to add or subtract matrices if they weren't the same size, but they are the same size in this case. All right, so that's why option B comes up, but option B is not applicable in this case. All right, so let's talk about how you actually do the adding. How do you take matrix A and add matrix B together? All you do is you add the corresponding entries, meaning that you take the entry in column one, row one of matrix A, and you add the entry in column one, row one of matrix B. So in my case, that'd be zero plus zero. And that goes in your answer in the same spot, column one, row one. And I go about the next one. What's uh, negative seven plus negative six? That's negative 13, okay? I took the entry in column two, row one of matrix A, and I added the entry in column two, row one of matrix B, and that goes in the corresponding spot of the answer, which will be the second column and first row. Now I just go through and I do that with all of them. I take six plus negative eight, that's negative two. I take negative four plus four, that's zero. I take one plus negative two, that's negative one. And I take six plus two, and that's eight. And then there's my answer. Okay, my answer is the same size matrix as the one I started with. It has two columns, three rows. It'll always work that way. Okay, so then in my math lab, you'd have to take this and use the uh, matrix template to type that in and that would be your answer. Okay, uh, now I'll briefly mention something about B, part B here. You can subtract matrices, once again, if they are the same size. And they are here. They each have two columns, three rows. Okay, how do you think you do that though? Can't be that much different than adding, and it's not. If I wanna take matrix A minus matrix B, here's what I do. I take this entry minus that one, this entry minus that one, just I'm subtracting instead of adding. So, okay, matrix A minus matrix B is gonna be this. Zero minus zero, okay, that's zero, no big deal. Negative seven minus negative six. That sounds like negative seven plus six, that's negative one, okay? Now I'll leave it to you to do the rest of it. Uh, I'll make a little note here that that part, we have to watch our signs, right? In algebra, that's almost always something you have to pay attention to is the signs, the pluses and minuses and so on. So yeah, I did negative seven minus negative six. Now you're gonna get uh, four more entries because when you add or subtract matrices, your answer is gonna be the same size as what you started with. So there's gonna be a number here, 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 and here. I'll let you finish it though. Let's talk about this last part, part D. Um, Part D there says, can we do negative two times A plus three times B? Okay, well, so we'll have to do that one in parts, okay? First, there's the multiplying. Here's how I'm gonna read this. 
says the number negative 2 times matrix A. Let's just focus on that. Let's forget about the 3B and the rest of it. How do you think that you take matrix A and multiply it by the number negative 2? What you do is you just take all the entries in matrix A and you individually multiply them by negative 2. That's how it works. So it's not so bad. Uh, let's, let's do that. Let's see. I'm going to take every single entry in matrix A. I'm going to multiply it by negative 2. I'm just doing that for now. Okay? So let's see. Negative 2 times 0, 0. Negative 2 times negative 7, 14. And see, I'm putting my answer in the same spot. I'm just multiplying the number times negative 2. Negative 2 times 6, negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 4, positive 8. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2. Negative 2 times 6, negative 12. Okay, so that right there, this part is just negative 2a. That's just what you get if you take matrix A times the number negative 2. Now, as I do this, I've showed you how to do part C. If you want to find 8a, Matrix A times the number 8, you just multiply each entry where it is by 8. That's what you do. All right. So then we're going to add 3B. So that's the same concept, a different number. Take the matrix B, multiply every single entry by 3 where it is. Each of these numbers in matrix B gets multiplied by 3, and that's what I have here. Okay. So uh, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times negative 6, negative 18. 3 times negative 8, negative 24. 3 times 4, 12. And then negative 6, which is 3 times negative 2, and then 6. Okay, so there what you're looking at is 3B. Now, can we add these together? I guess we're back to talking about how you add matrices. Can I take this matrix and can I add that one? Yeah, you, you can add matrices, but they have to be the same size. So for example, right, this one has two columns, three rows, but so does that one. So they are the same size. So yeah, I can add them together. And it's just like how we did that first part. Okay, now I'm going to leave that for you. All right, I'm going to challenge you to get the answer to that one. Um, see if you can think about back to part A when I did this and I talked about how I add two matrices. Uh, do you know how to do that? You might pause the video, try to do it, and then when you unpause it, you'll see the answer. And there you go. All I did was like this one, like part one is I take each entry where it is and add it to the matching corresponding entry of the other matrix. So for example, I got this number negative 36 by taking negative 12 and adding negative 24. Okay. All right. So that's how we can add and subtract matrices and multiply matrices by individual numbers like negative two, three, or eight, or whatever number you might see. Um, the next topic you might encounter after this one is how to multiply two matrices. That's not involved in this question. That's a totally different uh, procedure and idea, but I have uh, additional videos to show you how to do that.